Hey, welcome to Suburban Outdoorsman with uh, Kevin and Sean. And today we're doing the follow-up video from the podcast about everyday carry. So we're going to look at our everyday carry gear. Absolutely. So <laughs> I think let's start looking at what we have, like we talked about in the show, what we carry on our person every day. Ideally, 100% of the time. Yeah. I know I made that statement and then I got a little bit of flack from it from my wife. Well, and, and that's because Kevin. that's because, again, you made the comment that you carry your wallet with you every day. And I've been with you when you, oh, man, I forgot my wallet. <laughs> and, well, yeah, go ahead and show us your wallet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, so. Yes, I would have a wallet right here. However. It's not there at the moment. It's not here at the moment. But, again, like we talked about in the podcast. Okay, making sure. <laughs> <laughs> part of everyday carry is stuff you carry on your person as well. Things that you may use in a normal everyday situation. Yeah. Things could come up, may not. So, I've got my wallet. <clears throat> And then let's look at what do you, what is, what have you got that you carry normally with you? Normally, okay, let's go with the eighty five percent of the time I'll carry these with me. Oh, which is what? So my pocket knife, I have one of like three that I'll carry. Yeah, it's a small folding knife. And this, which I talked about on the podcast about wanting an upgraded version, this one gets kind of stiff, but it's just a multi tool. I like this one. Yeah, I bite my fingernails, so sometimes I have a hard time getting some tools out of some. Yeah, that, Some of those that yeah, that one's a little bit uh, harder. But with this one, I can usually get one out and then they Pull all the follow. Yeah, so. yeah. But I like to carry this with me. I do use it a lot. So I'll show. I've got mine. Mine's a knife too. Um, <laughs> just because it's a little bit bigger. Does mine see, has to? But see, I like because I've also find there's lots of situations where I'm doing something with one hand and yeah. I need the knife blade. So I like the quick open ones that I can do one handed. Well, and I've got another knife that I can open up a little bit easier. It's got a little knob on yeah, it. Yeah, this yeah. one is not great for one-handed. Yeah. Um, it's a good way to cut yourself. And then the closing function of this is more of a carabiner style. Yeah. And I had one like that. But see, this one I can technically close one-handed. Um, but I've also used this as a pry bar yeah. and stuff, too. So I've kind of bent it. You can see it's a little w more wobbly than I would Yeah, start. well, I've also got some damage to this knife yeah. from prying. And then... I, I like this multi tool. I know we were talking about this the other day. It's big, as far as comparison, as far as how deep in your pocket it goes. Yeah. But I, I like it personally. I wouldn't want to carry that around. Yeah. Because I don't. I don't like. I like that this style. though because I can pop it out. And again, and everybody looks at you when you're doing. It. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Um. So, like Sean mentioned, the difference with this is the way these fit down here inside the tool. You got to have a little bit of a fingernail, but it's got the typical tools: knife, file. Yeah. Don't bite your fingernails, kids. Yeah. Then you can't open your multi-tools. <laughs> can't open her. Um, but the thing I liked about this one, now, again, depending on what you use it for, um, like you made the joke in the podcast <clears throat> about <laughs> whatever you have, I have the more the upgraded, upgraded version. Better version. <laughs> and that's not necessarily intentional. Right. Um, it just works out that But way. a comparison is, you know, again, looking at things when it comes to budget. Everybody's going to have different budgets. Yeah. Um, you know, so this one was a little bit more expensive. This, one, this tool was like... 70 bucks I think on Amazon yeah and this was um, five bucks at yeah Walmart. at Walmart and it's still it works great it may not have all the features that this does yeah. but it's got a lot of stuff now there are some things that with the more expensive stuff that you may find yeah well and I plan um, on upgrading this especially since I mentioned it in the podcast now that I'm using it more things are frustrating more <laughs> frustrating yeah. me more about it so I'm getting to the point now where I I, I, I am gonna just get another get, it, get something upgrade a new one yeah, not that but one. see Again, this is one of the features that may come with something that you spend a little more money on. It's got the, a little pocket here where you can fit the bit in there, um, and it comes with more bits, which we'll look at when we go through the bag. But so you've got the tip for a screwdriver, and you can use either straight blade or flat flathead or Phillips. But it ratchets too, and it adjusts. Like, that's that's really cool. That's a cool function, I really like yeah. that. That's one of the things that again, it's a cool function. Now, is it a nece necessity? No, you can buy a multi-tool. Do you need a ratcheting a, screwdriver in the woods? Probably Maybe not. not. <laughs> but you never know when it may come in handy. And it's cool. And I like it. And I like the, the features on there. So, um, we both also have fixed blade knives. Right. And I don't carry this with me every day. But I do carry it when I'm in the woods, ideally. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I've, I had pried this, or pried with this before. It's dirty. And there is a bit of a knock yeah. <laughs> in, the, in the blade. So I need to take this somewhere and get it professionally honed. Yeah, that'd be um, cool. But it's... It is a fixed blade. The time goes all the way through. Is Kristen like going to matter for you? Uh, she probably will. I just built this desk for her. I was going to say, this looks new, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and the same thing. I don't carry this with me every day, everywhere I go. Um, now, I will say this. 
Um, I cannot tell you 100% what kind of steel everything is, what's the best steel, the hardness of it, all that. I know there's people that can. I'm not one of those people. I can tell Damascus steel only because it's obvious. I can tell Valerian steel. Right. That's the only one I can tell. Um, but I do or know that it's full tang. Or mithril. Well, Valerian steel is... My geek is showing, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well... Adamantium. Adamantium. Well, that's in... I want to do the claws, but I can't do that on camera. Um, full tang. I always... Fixed blade is always a full tang blade. Yeah. Um, again, yep. it may not be the best steel, may not be the best metal, you know, the best edge, all that, but I do generally only get a full tang for a fixed blade. I like this one. I don't... Did we use this for the deer last year? Uh, no, we I don't did think not. So. We used I like this one. This one, bought. it's... This is a buck knife, and it's it's fancy. Yeah. This looks like a uh, a Dexter knife. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they've been around a while, so they've obviously yeah. Th stood the, this the is a good knife. Time. I mean, it's, it's got a nice sharp edge on it. It feels great. It's weighted real well. Yeah. I really need to learn how to Use flip it? this knife around. That'd be because this is a, a well weighted knife for that. That is something that you should be investing some time in daily. Ah, of course. Um, but again, not I don't carry it every day, everywhere I go. If I'm going to Walmart, or if I'm going to Walmart, maybe I will. Um, but especially our Walmart. Yeah, if I'm going to the to the bank or something like that, which I guess actually nobody goes to the bank anymore. So to what? Um, anyway, but definitely if I'm going to be over here, if we're going to be out in the woods, or if I know I'm going to be doing outdoor stuff or things like that, I'll carry that with me. Yeah. Um, and then I also have a lighter, and this is a torch style lighter. That one that we spoke about that is yep a little heavy. A little bit heavy. And it's got, just, just for backup, just in case, it's got another knife blade on it. Um, and then, of course, the bottle opener and corkscrew, like we talked about on the video. I mean, on the podcast. And then, the only other thing I've got is the watch. Or, not the, this is not the watch. This is the paracord yeah. bracelet. But the paracord bracelet with the ferris rod and steel, this also has a little bit of a blade on it. Because you can never have too many knife blades. <laughs> and a compass. So these are the items that would generally make up my on my person every day yeah. carry. And besides, um, like I mentioned, the, the watch does have a certain function as a yeah. Uh, and, but again, it's still something resource. you have with you every day. It's yeah. again, it's not necessarily an outdoor survival thing, but it's still an everyday thing. And I did find even while we were camping, mm -hmm. um, I liked having the watch because even though I had no signal and I couldn't use any of the other functions on it, I still liked the fact of being able to at a glance know what time it was yeah. compared to what we're doing for things. So. And I was looking the other day on Amazon for a watch, another watch. A belt. A belt, yeah, What yeah. do you call it? Belt buckle. buckle. A belt buckle with a knife in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I couldn't find a good one. No, no, no. That's why I haven't bought one yet. Yeah, um, so i got to keep looking. I want one of those really bad. Really bad. <laughs> um, the closest I've found is, um, like, with the little, what are those, like, query knives? Um, yeah, and I saw one with a multi-tool on it, but yeah. it, it looked pretty useless. Yeah. So I didn't go with it. No, but I want one of the ones that's like the little just it's the little square square buckle yeah. where the knife blade just slides right you in like you can't even tell that yeah. there's a blade in there. Like yeah, yeah. But that's another everyday carry is a belt and if you get the right kind of belt you can use it. Yeah. As you know, as a, part of a your functional something. Okay. There are, there are some belts you can buy that have a uh, that you can use for like towing straps I and mean, you can buy belts that have like a 3000 pound yeah, yeah. you know weight on it. There's so yeah yeah you can add so much to those to yeah. do the but I mean that's where thing like again that's where this comes into play I, it, yeah it, this is going to be in an emergency situation the paracord is going to be a one time use thing yeah but at least it's something you've got there I mean there's been lots of times I've run into I wish I had some rope yeah and we do yeah. on our car keys yeah we we have had actually it was hanging on here somewhere because it needs to be repaired but it was a paracord keychain yeah but it's Oh yeah, it's one of the ones where it's got the little carabiner on it, and then it's got the yeah, little yeah, it's real small, but it started to unravel. Yeah, friend of ours made it, and he was going to repair it for us, but we haven't gotten a chance to do that yet. Yeah, I had that before I found this because this one is adjustable, so you can it's still yeah. part of the paracord. And I like that. The the one I had before was was too tight on my wrist, so it was very uncomfortable, and I didn't like wearing it. Yeah. So I ended up just taking it and kind of straightening it out a little bit. Like I cut the end of it so it's separated, <laughs> and I attached it to my keychain, so yeah. I just at least had some paracord with me. So, this is the on-person everyday carry. On, this uh, is our legitimate our everyday stuff, carry yeah. stuff. So now, let's take a look at the bags of here. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. Yeah, I'll put some back up here. I'm not going to stand up and put it back in my pocket right this minute, because I don't want everybody to see how large I am. Excuse me? So, my... Oh! <laughs> All right, my bag. Yes. It's cute. It's so heavy. Oh, that's, I like that. That's That's... It's adorable. <laughs> and it matches your shirt. Yeah, well, I, I wear a lot of green. 
Uh, are you bringing yours up at the same time? Well, or am I going to unpack first. mine? Yeah. All right, so mine, this was a gift, anniversary gift. Um, and I mentioned a few things on the uh, the podcast about it. It's got the light that is quite bright. Uh, a whistle that I'm not going to blow. It is extremely loud. Yeah. Um, the pen that also has a windshield, well, a window breaker on it, and that can also be a weapon. Yeah. Against Shall certain we people. Demonstrate. No. All right. You do and whatever then, you feel comfortable with. Yeah. Right. And then the backup battery. Yeah. So this so will put charge. Put it on the table. Fine. This will charge. I think two iPads or four iPhones. Yeah. From. I'm sorry. Two tablets <laughs> or two phones <laughs> or two smartphones entirely. And then we'll run through it all the way together, or uh, we'll unpack everything all at once. How about that? We'll speed this part up. Ourselves. We'll speed this part up. We'll do like a... And I will discuss each one of these individually as they're on. Ooh, you got some packed. <laughs> I think that's everything. So, all unpacked. We mentioned some of these things on the podcast. The only thing that I've added to it since was a paracord. It's... The 550. Oh, so it's the five. Yeah, it's the actual paracord. Um, it's 50 feet of that. Can't use it for compact. climbing, but it's still. Yeah, it'll it'll be used for yeah, yeah. much of anything, and it fits well in that. So you had mentioned in the podcast about. Oh, that's cool. Buying stuff that'll fit. Yeah, into, into the, bag. the bag. Yeah, and this is cool. You can tease out the core threads for fishing lines, sewing threads, and more. And that's exactly why I bought it. Well, that's to, what I to figured. To tease out the core to lines. Tease out the core lines. That's exactly <laughs> why I bought it. Uh, this is not a grout wire. <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, wire saw. So Ooh, this is something that you can... Let's open it. You may open it. That's something you can wrap around a tree limb and... I can't open plastic bags for some reason. I don't know if I've opened that yet. Just rip it. It's absolutely fine. This is going to be very anticlimactic. It is. I can continue to talk about something. Yeah, there you go. That was interesting. So there you good. go. So you just wrap it around a tree so you branch. You just wrap it around something, and, and you pull it back and forth. We well, don't. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a head. Oh, that's right. You said it's not a grout <laughs> wire. So you just rotate it back and forth, and it'll it'll cut through. And it's it's not sharp. No, it's but not. You can but feel that if you, you could uh, tell that if you did it fast yeah. enough, it would hurt. It's uh, I forget what they call that edge. So I've also got these, which you bought. Yeah. And I said I had to buy six of them. I bought one so far. I will buy the rest for the our the others our are for the bags. The yeah, go bags, right? Yeah. Our go bags. Uh, but it's the. Uh, those waterproof matches, they're waterproof and apparently dirt proof. Yeah. Which we go back and watch the video on Firecraft. Yeah. That's um, an interesting bit. That was kind of cool little how they worked on that. Yeah. And a waterproof all weather notebook, it says. So the pages are kind of plastic, I guess. But you can write on it. And even if it's wet and it won't wash away, I wrote Suburban Outdoorsman. Nice. Of course I did. And so with a pen, I need to try with a pencil. I meant to do that and I forgot. So that goes in there. Is there one in here? The emergency Mylar blanket. There are some pencils. I don't see any. I see Somewhere. pens, but that's it. They're right there. Oh, yeah. Wooden pencils. Right so. How adorsy can you get? Yeah. This is more chic, though. Oh, I just registered what you said. I thought you said how adorbsy. <laughs> like, it's super adorbs. Toots adorbs. So, Sean, this writes very well. Does it? Nice. Now, will it come now, off easy? It smears. That. It smears, but it stays on there. So, probably if it gets wet, it's not going to run. Yeah. You can put that back. Pencil back. The Mylar blanket, the emergency blanket. Yep. That we discussed feels like tissue paper, but it's effective. The light. That we also talked about how being bright that was. <laughs> and that has that one has the adjustable. Yeah, this one's the adjustable. So it'll go, I don't know if this will show up on camera, but it'll go from, oh, it's got the SOS thing. So it's got a wide function and, and a zoom yeah. function. The nice gold compass, it makes me feel like a pirate. And it glows in the dark. And it glows in the dark. Lighter, matchbook from Papa Do's, because you never know when you need some Mexican food on the go yeah and then the multi-tool card that that's cool I so have, this one's I pretty like neat it's got a saw on it you could cut something very tiny with yeah. that <laughs> um 
and then a few other things like a bottle opener. There's a uh, this will hold. I mean, you can the wrench though. Yeah, um, sockets. Not yeah. The sockets, well, I guess it's nuts. a wrench. So yeah, you can put that on that and screw it, and then whatever that directional thing was. Yeah, I, don't I figured that yeah, out. Yeah, I'm yet. not sure what that's supposed to be for. And then just a few things, but it's it is neat. It's good to have. It doesn't take up much space at all. Yeah. So it will fit, and there's a little card in there that also tells you what all the tools are. What all the tools are. But it doesn't explain to you how to use the multi-directional <laughs> navigator. <laughs> no. And then this, thanks to uh, Escape to Blue Ridge, I added to it a little bit, but it's my medical pouch. It's got a chip and bio ointment, band-aids, band some other things in there, just some basic stuff for first aid. Yeah. So it's not going to get you far, but it'll get you a few. So if we look at your stuff, so one of the things for everyday carry, they talk about what are situations you're going to encounter on a regular basis or you could encounter based yeah. on your area. So being where we're at, being outside, being something happening outdoors is going to be a higher or a decent risk for us. Yeah. Um, so as long as you've got your bag, you've got areas that are going to cover your your electronic stuff. You can write and take notes. You've got your first aid kit. You yeah. Got lighter matches. And, and we have a show blanket. plan as far as taking the notes. We have a show plan about what you need to take notes for. Yeah. So I guess specifically it was How, finding, yeah, yeah, finding yourself, finding your way out of woods or yeah. whatever situation is like that. You might need to take notes as far as landmarks things yeah. like that yeah that's like i i thought of that the first time the mention was of having a pen and weatherproof notebook like what do you yeah so i can doodle if i get bored yeah. but that was one of the things they mentioned but hangman with yourself you're gonna want to have a way of making notes of things about the terrain yeah. environments things you've passed um keeping a log of stuff that's happened that way let's say you are stranded outside for a longer period of time you can yeah. kind of keep a record of what you've eaten what you've drank in case yeah. there is an emergency a medical thing that comes up so um cool yeah so all other, otherwise everything else is pretty self-explanatory yeah. about what you'd need it for what else is there anything else you have not yet added that you you want to add to it there was and i forgot a wallet a wallet would be nice. <laughs> um but then see you also have your go bags yeah, so you've so got it, this is your everyday carry, and then you've got a, a bigger go bag, which we're going to get right, into in a so separate. Right, so the whole episode. family has a go bag. So if there's a situation where we all need to bug out, yeah, we can all just grab a go bag, and we've got much more than this, plus these items in the in that go bag. In the go bag. Yeah. Okay. So we'll talk about that when we get to that. So subject. I don't have one of those. I'm still working on it. Yeah. I got I got a mini one, kind of a little bit that I've started working on, but it's not complete, and I don't have one for everybody. Yeah. So that's why I've put a little bit more into my... It gets ridiculously carry. expensive to build five It does, bags. dude. For... I looked it up. I mean, it, and it all depends on... It, like, it's weird because it's it seems like... It's level of You'd think it'd yeah. be cheaper to build it yourself. No. But I've also found that buying five of everything... Well, and you don't need five of everything, but to, to do the five no, bags... Well, we bought one that has... It was a pack of four, and they were all mostly pre-built we yeah. added to each one certain things but we bought four and then one individual because they don't ever sell five of anything they sell yeah. four it's either four or six yeah so we bought the extra bag that you know and just built it individually it but it i mean it's i think expensive. we ended up spending about 500 bucks yeah i would say that's probably what i was looking at yeah. somewhere between well for mine it'd be like maybe a thousand nine hundred a thousand but uh yeah it was going to be expensive to put those together and i just have any good they're important to have we need them but i, I haven't done and it, we'll so. discuss all that as we get to it when we get to that episode yeah so yeah. all right if you want to pack your stuff back up all right or move it out of the way whatever you want to do so this is my bag just give me a minute um well while sean's packing his stuff up mine is a little bit bigger um, and it's his is designed to fit on a belt pouch. Mine is more of an over the shoulder, like a little sling bag. Um, I've got a little bit more involved in here. Um, just can, again, I don't have a go bag or a bug out bag, so I've put a little extra stuff in this to have. Um, I do like the fact that it's got the Molly strips that you can add other attachments to this. Um, I don't have anything really to add to that at the moment right now, but um, I also do like the little cord on all of the zippers, which gives you a little bit of extra cord or rope if you need that for something, um, including uh, using it as a little bit of kindling to help start a fire. Uh, but it's got the molly on the side, the front, and the other side. Um, little pouch in the back will show what's in there. And I like the Velcro on the front. You can also strap some stuff on there. And with this, you can uh, add a Velcro there and then cinch it up to tighten it and keep it on there. And you were saying those straps are also... Uh they're flammable, so you can flammable. use them for 
uh, Kinlan. Want to test that out? I haven't yet, but we should at some point. Alright, so let's take out what I've got in mind. And I was... What did I do? Oh, that's just an extra piece of there. Uh, that's just extra pieces I subbed in there. I didn't repack this properly after we did the podcast. So it's not oh, as organized as Oh, and you said you used some of this for the camping trip. Yeah, I did. So that's why it's frayed. That's why it's frayed. That's why you teased it out. Yes. Apparently. But I didn't use it for a fishing line or anything yet. But see, your bag was a lot more organized than mine. Mine right now is just kind of shoved in here from yeah, after the video. Especially you got a random battery just no, sitting it's, around. No, it's not a random battery. It's a backup for my flashlight. Strewn about. You just take your time. I'm working on it. Oh. Sip oh, I just remembered something else that you need to add to your bag. We talked about this on the video. Did we? You have um, in your bag a battery charger. Oh, yeah, cords. But you do not have the cords. Here's one right here. Huh? Yours was so more yeah, elegantly in there. laid out than mine was. I had far fewer things. Well, well like maybe said, not, actually. I really did. Those are just larger options. Yeah. Mine's, my stuff's just bigger than yours. Just kind of group this in a similar category with each other. Okay. All right. So, if we look at the stuff that would be more used on a daily, ba regular basis. I've got a first aid kit. Um, I like this one. It's a little hard pouch, but it's got similar stuff to what your side in it. Yeah. Um, but you can see how it's kind of netted in there. Pretty cool. It's got triple antibiotic ointment, hand sanitizer, gauze pads, things like that. Um, so I did add, and you know what? I wonder if these will fit in here. I added some nitro gloves because you never know who's allergic to latex. So I didn't want latex. I don't ever buy latex gloves. So I got the nitro gloves. And hey, check that out. So first aid kit with gloves in there. And again, these are not sterile gloves. So these are not right. to protect anybody if you have to mess with an open wound on them. But you're going to wear um, it anyway. But it's cleaner than your hands, probably. Correct. And I'm actually more worried about getting the bodily fluids from the other person yeah. on me. So that's what the gloves are for. Um, when I took my first aid class, the um, one thing I don't have in this that I really want to get is one of the... You can buy them online from American Red Cross and places like that. Yeah. But it's the little pouch that goes over okay, um, yeah. the little sleeve thing. And it's the... So if you need to do mouth-to-mouth um, -mouth resuscitation, yeah. it's the little thing to put over and again it's that's not designed to protect them it's designed to protect you yeah um which is what the gloves are for uh another item i added with my first aid kit which will not fit in here is sutures um i don't imagine there's really gonna be a lot of situations where we're going to need to do an emergency never suture know. but you never know what if we're out in the woods and we've got our knives they're sharpened and something happens where you slip and and instead of open. going to urgent care, I can no, just have you stitch me up. If we're back in the back 40 and you're like bleeding out real bad, and what if I just need to suture you up real quick, you know? You never know. But again, like I mentioned on the podcast, some of the stuff I added to mine was more kind of for fun. Or <laughs> Oh, speaking of more for fun, I forgot to include my other oh, yeah. everyday carry item. That wasn't here last time. Yeah, it was. I haven't seen I it I just yet. didn't take it off. Oh. Because um, we were doing a podcast and nobody could see it anyway. So this is... I could have seen it. This is a dog tag that has built into it. Hopefully you can see that well on there on the camera. If not, I'll just take a picture of it and throw it up in the corner there. But it has a handcuff key <laughs> and a shim for lockpick. And a, a little tiny saw edge thing on, Are those, on the end. It's pretty good. Yeah. And then it's got the little silencer on there. So that you don't really need the silencer for this, obviously, because it's just one. But, silencer? Uh, yeah, silences the dog tags. As in, like, if you had, like, oh, all my other stuff... rattling together. Gotcha. Jangles okay. together. If you had multiple dog tags, you could put them okay. all in there so they don't jangle. I had no the idea The reason that was it a thing. comes with it is because you can buy other ones of these that have different tools in them. Like, there's... That's what made me think of buying these sutures, is they've one got one. Suture. It's got It's got <laughs> an emergency suture and some other pointy objects, but it's got a little emergency suture. That is wholly uh, unuseful, there. but uh, you know what? It's fun. You, you know, know it's cool to have. <laughs> and if by some chance somebody ever handcuffs me but doesn't think to check my necklace, then I'm covered. Alright, so again, sutures were added more of a fun thing. Um, I'm not going to open this, take it out all the way. This was a, um, a standalone everyday carry kit. It's a, <clears throat> a tin container. Um, 
like they mentioned on and, and on the back it's got the contents of everything that's in there um, I'm gonna open up just to show it's kind of packed full a little bit it does have the saw like yours did yeah um, yours I like yours the, a little bit better well though. yours has those grip this has the grip too, handles but when I open this like when I was messing with this one I just like the feel of yours better um, yours was more upgraded than mine. it's got some fishing stuff in there some other random things it's got a little bit of it's not paracord it's just rope but this actually has a um, I forget what they called it, but it's a uh, fire starting cord in the middle of there. It's and a, I like, like the a fishing. Fuse. I think that is something that I wanted to add to mine was a small fishing. Oh yeah, kit. small like fishing that. kit. Uh, that was part of why I bought this one too. Was yeah. that there's a lot of ever, other everyday carry stuff that had the first aid stuff and the compasses and all that, but this yeah. was one of the only ones I had that I liked that had the fishing kit in there. That's neat. Um, what did they option. call it? They had. Let's see if I can find it real quick. And I can't. Um, yes, 500, it's a seven, it's fire cord, seven strand, 550 pound wax tinder cord for fire starting. Okay. Um, in the video, it showed it kind of like burning like a fuse almost. That's neat. They've got a ranger band on there to keep it closed. And there's another ranger band that's inside. It's like a very strong rubber band, but it's also highly flammable. So it's great for wrapping around kindling and stuff and then using it to get a fire started. Um, but, uh, I'll, um, I'll take a little picture of the back of this and we'll throw it up on the video just of what's listed in there, what all that comes in there. Another fun item that I added to my everyday carry. Because you never know. Because you never know. Is a lock picking kit. Now, this has all kinds of different tools and heads and stuff in there to go on the thing. Which you are not yet versed enough to, to use. To use all of those, no. I know how to use some of it. Like, I know what this is for. And that other piece I just had. Um, I can pick... Not even pick. I can jimmy some small basic locks, but I'm not able to yet do a I can tumbler lock. Kick down a door. Yeah. So if you can't get in with that, I can. Then kick you it can down. just kick it down. I've got the waterproof notebook and the tactical pen. I wrote test on mine. I didn't think right. Suburban Outdoorsman. Um, I really like this pen. About the brand. Yeah. Well, it's got a pen on it. I don't know if Sean showed that on his. Um, oh yeah, mine also has a pen. <laughs> it's um, this one has a uh, it's a rubber tip, so you can use it with your tablet if you need to as a stylus. Okay. Or with your phone. Because um, if you're lost in the woods, it's yeah. important to have a stylus rather than use your finger. Well, yeah, because you don't want to get your tablet dirty. Yeah. Makes all the sense. Where in the is world. the other part? My favorite part of this tactical pen. Oh, the, the little A B D knife. Yeah. And it has a knife blade on it. Because again, you can never have too many knives. too many knives. So as they're searching your purse and trying to get rid of all your weapons, they're just you've gonna, got two or three backups. Yeah, and they're going to get bored of looking. and like They're going to find the one pocket knife, and they're like, okay. There's no way this guy has Any a Any average knife sane person head. only has one <laughs> knife on him. <laughs> all right. Uh, I bought this. I'm probably not going to keep it in there because it's kind of crap in my opinion. It's the, yep. the monocular looking lens thing that's kind of crappy. The looking lens, yeah. That's what they yeah. call it. <laughs> Very technical with the terms that I use. I've got the matches like Sean's got, the waterproof matches. I'm not going to bother opening those since he did. I have two flashlights. Um, this one is a... I forget how many lumens, but it's a lot. Same thing as you showed on yours. It's got where you can do the small or the wide. Yeah. It's got the strobe light. It's also got the SOS function on it. This does not. This is neither... Sh does not strobe. Does not SOS. It lights, though. But it's a small light. Yeah. And it's not adjustable. Um, but it's a small light. I like the little clip that it's got on there. Yeah, I like that a lot, too. Um, I had one that did that, and it, I used it plenty. Yeah. It's somewhere else. And, actually and the again, property, it's no. the benefit I like about this one is if you're doing something that you need... Does that serve as a lantern? I don't know. Maybe, I guess. I think that's what that is. That's a good idea. Yeah. I assume it was just to protect the glass. Because if you bring it up a little bit thing kind of lights up. Hey, check that out. So now it's like a lantern. <sighs> check that out. Look how smart you are. And it's insanely bright. I'm getting blind looking at it. <laughs> Holy crap. It is bright. It's like hurting my eyes. Um, anyway, the other thing I liked about this one, which is why I have it, is because that's a big, heavy flashlight. And yeah. if I'm trying to do something, yeah, I'm okay with putting this in my mouth and trying to hold it. That's kind of big. Dark. Nice. You can shut all the lights out in here if you'd like. And I would, but it's the problem is 
I don't have to get up. I don't want to walk across the office. So um, that's cool, though. I didn't know that. That's actually a cool little feature. Yeah, it is. Um, but again, like I said, that's why I have the small one is because I can clip it on the stuff. I can hold it in my mouth and yeah. not feel weird. Um, this is the toolkit that goes along with the multi tool. And it looks magnetic. It is. Not strong enough, apparently. But you could magnetize it to something else. I was certain I put my watch on silent. Apparently neither one of us did Jesus. our stuff today properly. Anyway, but it's got a bunch of different bits. Like, what's really cool is check this out. So it's got the really tiny bits in there. So I think the how I was bits. showing earlier that oh, my yeah, and knife if I had was my not... Knife on me, that I would use as it tight right. as it should have been and this is not the this is not the right size bit but it's close so that would have been cool if that had actually worked but however it, it didn't it so it's not as cool so maybe I'll have to edit that out now or come on we'll cut this out of the shorter version we'll just leave this in for the people that are willing to sit and watch Let's us just do <laughs> watch us fiddle around with that and this one's too small this is great TV. Yeah. Hey, people are getting to see what and agree with and understand what really goes on in real life. Because how often have you gone and just found the right bit magically the first time? All right, now I'm getting bored. More often than that. Really? Yeah. Yeah, if it's a straight blade. There we go. Okay. I'll just cut out all those other parts so it just goes skips to the first this one first. Um So, Hear that little clicking sound? Yeah. Oh, I over tightened it. So now I'm just going <laughs> to click that little switch and ratchet it the other way a little bit. I'm happy to be part of this. <laughs> and look, it's not wobbling anymore. But because I've used it as a pry bar, it messed up the release mechanism. Okay. Anyway. Everyday carry. This is why I keep this in the bag, keep this pouch with the extra pieces in my everyday carry bag. Because you never know. When you end up in a situation that you might need to do something. And, in all honesty, if I had to walk all the way out to my toolbox and find a bit to do that, I'd never get around to it, which is why I haven't up to this point. Now, I showed that I had the straight blade, or the fixed blade knife that I will carry on my person. This one I keep in the bag. It's also a fixed blade. Ooh, and I almost just sliced my thumb on that when I pulled that yeah. out of there. This is a sh little almost shred knife. Twice now. It is also a full tang. Uh, very small, um, but it's got a decent weight to it. Um, you could definitely use this for feather stick. Yeah. Um, you can use this. Uh, it's still it's maybe not a big blade, but it's heavy enough and durable enough that I could still use it as the baton. You know, with a get a another stick or something to use as the baton oh, to, yeah, to split down, firewood yeah. and stuff like that. So uh, that's the reason I carry that in my everyday carry. Plus, it's another knife. Got a compass. It is not as piratey as Sean's. Um, it's got extra features on there. I don't know exactly how to use it or what they're for, but um, <laughs> I know it's. We talked about it on the don't podcast. Don't say that for, word <laughs> for setting the asthma. <laughs> don't say Validating asthma. Asthmas. Um, but I'm not sure exactly how to use it, so I'll figure that out at some point. I would like to do an episode about learning to navigate. Yeah. With just a compass and a map. Yeah. Um, I think that's. I think that's on the list. And I got a spare paracord bracelet. That way if I ever have to use mine I've got a backup or if I need something I don't want to use that one. And then again this is the battery backup. This is a bit big. And it looks um, like it'll jump start your car. Probably would. But again because I've got the size bag that I've got this fits really neat yeah. into that back pocket and I believe you can it's supposed to do like 12 full charges on a phone or something like that. <laughs> Some ridiculous amount. We bought it as a family one because it's got the three ports where you can plug into. Yeah. Bought it as a family one where the boys could all plug into their, their tablets at one time if we needed to. Um, but again, I keep it in the bag when we're not using it. So um, This should give me a pretty decent... Oh, well, we, I forgot. We did talk about it a little bit. I need to singe. You think it's going to smell in here if I singe this in here? I don't care. Where's my lighter? Uh, next shelf up. Oh, there it is. I did not... Uh, That's not the one that burns like a fuse, I hope. No, it's not. Um, you can cut on the desk. I don't want to mess up Kristen's desk. Another benefit of a notebook 
is it's also doubles as a cutting board. I'm trying not to like slice through the pages a bunch. There we go. That's close enough. At least it's a little extra. I guess we'll know in a minute if this is the one that's uh Yeah, all right. Oh man. It smells though. There we go. Fixed it. Alright. Another little cool bonus part for all you people that watch the full video and not just the short and abbreviated one. <laughs> That was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> you have a trash can over there? Yeah. Hey, we're showing multiple uses of stuff here. And actually, check this out. You didn't cut through it? I didn't cut through it either. Like a normal... It's so it makes a good cutting board. It's got like a little, like you said, like a plastic wax yeah. type coating, which I think helped. So this would make a decent little cutting board. You get some little bluegill or something, lay them out on there That's and lay them up. No, oh, I could fit a bigger bluegill on mine then. <laughs> Um, another use for everyday carry stuff. That's why I always carry a lighter, too. So that's everything. So that's everything. This, I will go into it. This is not paracord. Yeah. Um, and then I'll be 100% honest with you. I know paracord is parachute cord. That's what para is short for. I don't know the difference between what is paracord versus... Probably what? not much as far as the versatility. Yeah, I don't know the for sure. The specific use of it, I'm sure there's paracord for parachutes and then... Yeah. I don't know if it's supposed to have a better, you know, pound. The 550 weight, weight is what they yeah. have for is what they have listed for the paracord. Well, like you saw, or you mentioned your other that the other one you've got. It's yeah, that's a 550 also. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure when I bought this, this was also 550. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so I don't know the difference, but I, I I can't tell you how many times there's been situations where we needed some rope for something, and not like just a little piece of twine, like some actual yeah. rope. Again, not as a life saving device, but just something to use. Um, and I don't remember if I talked about this in our camping video or not. I don't think I did get into that. But one of the benefits of having that with me is um, I did cut some of it off uh, yep. to use with the bait bucket. And then I also used the rest of it and strung it double between a couple trees to hang the wet clothes after the kids went swimming. Um, so, again, a use th that in the camping situation, I yep. wouldn't have remembered to have brought other rope with me. But I had it in my bag and I needed it for the clothesline. So, um, again... Everyday carry doesn't necessarily mean it has to be something that's for some sort of a catastrophic emergency. Yeah, it's not always survival. It's just, you know. it's a use. Yeah. You know, yeah. I may need to, I may lock the desk and forget my key. I need to get in to get some important paperwork, and you never know. So, um, anyway, this is what I got here. You know what I do wonder? I wonder how long these suture cords are. I wonder if you could use some of this as a uh, fishing as well. Uh, they're probably no more than. Yeah. You know what you could probably inches? do? You could probably put one of these suture needles at the top tip of a stick, like split the stick a little bit, put the needle in there, wrap it up, and use it as a little mini fish spear. Well, they are likely herringbone, so they're that U shape. Yeah, well, then you just so you hook have the to, fish. You have to hook the fish. There you go. See? It's not a spear. Well. But you can use that to chip I could, away at a... I could put this at the end of a stick and use it as go. a spear. <laughs> um, Ooh, spear fishing. That's one I need to put on the list. Yeah. Spear fishing and bow fishing. Yeah. I would love to bowfish. Look out for that. Yeah. That's going to be a lot of uh, <laughs> potential injuries. We had to make our own spears and then fish with them. Make our own bow and then fish with that, too. It worked for the Spartans. And we could only use items from our everyday carry kit. Yeah, I'm not interested in that. All right, well. So, this is what we got in our kits. Um, would love to have you guys leave us some comments and feedback. What do you think about what we've got? Um, what are we obviously missing? What do we have that we don't really need? Um, and don't say too many knives because there's no such thing. It's fine. No, and this Suture. is actually pretty close to a... This is kind of like a knife. It's like a pointy knife. Oh, and I didn't say that. Another knife. Again, you can't have too many of them. There is a uh, surgical blade. A sterilized surgical blade oh, nice. inside here. So I've got the sterilized surgical blade and I've got the suture kits. I'm practically a doctor. We need to send you to a first aid course. I've been to a first a aid course. A field medicine course. Oh, field medicine. Yeah, because yeah. see, here's the thing. Legally, I can't do anything with these. Right, unless someone says you are allowed to touch me. Even then, But even with that, technically, even if you told me to go ahead and suture, suture you up, I could still get in trouble for doing that because I don't have that so you could, proper training. So you could save my life, and then I could sue you yes. so that I could buy the upgraded version. Exactly. So even if you gave me, so 
Where's my knife at? Hang on. I know this is a little off topic for this, so we'll cut this out of the shortened version. Um, but interesting fact is, with first aid, the Good Samaritan Law only covers you on what you've had specific training for. So in other words, let's say your throat has swollen up and you're suffocating to death yeah. and it's not because you're choking. I may understand the concepts of how to perform a tracheotomy. I may ask you and you give me a clear verbal or clear nod that yes, I can perform a tracheotomy to save your life. You can still sue me. I can still have charges pressed against me by law enforcement because I performed an operation that I was not trained for. Um, so the Good Samaritan Law only covers when either you pass out and I get implied consent or you give me right. consent to perform uh, so CPR or first, you know, choking With stuff. having these things, it'd probably be a good idea then for you to get some training on some how to field use medicine them. training. But it's more actually because I, I can use it on myself. Right. I can't get in trouble for using it as on myself. As long as you can consent to yourself. Yeah. Doing well, I, you know, like they always show it in the, the TV shows and stuff, like where the dude's out in the woods, stranded, and like something happens and he gets well, his arm cut open. I remember, open I think it was Rambo 2 when he fell through some trees and he yeah. cut his arm wide open yeah. and he, he cut himself up or he sutured himself up. Yeah. And he had a knife that I used to have as as a kid. I wish I still had. Oh, it. the the survival knife. It's a survival knife. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. The cap of and it's got all that all stuff. All stuff in there. And it, it has it has a suture kit. Yeah. And he used that to sew himself back up. Yeah. And I love that as a kid. I've always been curious. Like, what would that feel like? Like, how hard would that actually be to do? What kind of video is this again? Yeah. <laughs> this is um, <laughs> family friendly. So go ahead. Just put this. In. <laughs> um. Anyway, so back to what our original comment was. <laughs> Let us know what you think of uh, what we've got in our kits. What do you have in yours? Do you have an everyday carry kit? What do you have in yours? If you don't, what kind of items are you thinking that uh, that maybe you should put in there? Um, Is there something in here that you thought was, wow, what a great idea. I didn't have thought about that. Extra knives. Extra knives. Um, cords. Cords. For crying out loud. Because actually, I almost didn't have that in there. I had, before we came over, before I was going to do the, the, the podcast, I had the charger in there. And then I realized, wait a minute, I don't have any cords. What is this going to do me if I don't have any, any cords? But like you said, again, the thing to keep in mind, this is not a you're in the middle of an apocalypse or you're yeah. you're necessarily out in the woods for six days with nothing to do. This is an everyday carry to survive this stuff. So your situation, like you mentioned on the podcast, I think, you don't have the cords in your bag, but you've at least got the battery backup. You've got chargers in your car. Yeah. So if you're out away from the house where you're not going to have a cord, you could always go grab the cord out of your car. Yeah. yeah. So anyway... Appreciate watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, if you do, as always, please like and subscribe on the video there and hit the little bell icon so you get alerted the next time we put videos up. Yeah. Um, check us out on other social medias, Facebook, Instagram. Um, look for the podcast wherever you uh, listen to your podcasts. We are busy on Facebook, so I'd yep. love to see you there. I've got uh, links to all the social medias in the video below. And uh, the other thing we ask is, again, if you had any benefit from this, you feel there's any informational value that was useful or any you know entertainment value to it uh please share it with your friends tell them about it have them send them over to come see us we'd greatly appreciate it and if you're watching the shortened version of it come yeah. watch this full version come watch the full version too there yeah. might be something that you're missing yeah if you have the time sit down go through all the details and you'll understand the entertainment value of that comment i made as well so uh appreciate it guys look forward to seeing you next time mm -hmm.